Look at verse 4. We have confidence in the Lord concerning you, both that you do and will do the things that we command you. Now, not everybody is called to be an evangelist, a pastor, a preacher, right? But every Christian is called to be a disciple. That means every Christian, every believer, every member of the church, in some way, shape, or form, is called to share in the work of God, specifically in the spreading of the word of God, the gospel. What Paul is saying here is exactly what Jesus said in Matthew chapter 28. He's saying, I'm praying, pray for us. Oh, by the way, we have confidence in the Lord concerning you that you're going to do and will do the things that we command you. We all have the same responsibility. We have responsibility, all of us, with this. To be bold with the word of God and to live it as an example to those around us and to share it. And here's a question for you. You guys, you don't have to go to Bible college to, to do this. Can you take the word of God, what you know, the gospel, and deliver that to an unbeliever? You don't have to preach like the greatest evangelist in the world. You just have to be you. But honestly say, this, I know this is true, here's what the scripture says. And know the scripture, know enough of the scripture to say to an unbeliever and give them the gospel. Can you build up another brother or sister in the faith with the word of God? Starting in your home. Starting in your home with your spouse, with your kids, with your immediate family, and then outward from there. That's how the gospel is spread. Not just from the pastors or the evangelists, but from the church as a whole. And Paul is saying, that's how the word of God will run swiftly. And he's saying, I'm confident this is going to happen in you.